but they just know they have to get going. Treble up to turn number two. Denny Hamlin is around, and he's got contact on the back of his race car. Hamlin comes to grief at the bottom of the S's. He's able to refire the car, but as you can tell by the crowd here in turn two, they are happy about Denny Hamlin, but I guarantee you he is not. These playoffs have been brutal for Denny Hamlin, even pre-playoffs with the penalty for the mix-up with the engine where it was unsealed when it shouldn't have been. Lost massive loss of points. Crashed at Daytona, crashed in the big wreck. Recovered at Darlington and here just gets put into the wall. Yeah, three wide. I mean, basically he uses the runoff, but the same five and six that we were showing you were side by side. Brad basically is like, look, man, if you're gonna go to that runoff, you're just not gonna squeeze me and have me lift. You see all that dirty rubber. I think the 11 knows he has to get in line. Three cars just don't fit on the entry to the S's, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, see, look, I this is simple to me. Denny Hamlin in desperation mode. This right here normally is a lift. I can't be three wide on the outside. Instead, he piles it in there on in the worst position he can possibly be in contact. And this is how the, the playoffs have been for them. Did not approach Atlanta effectively. Had trouble here early. Qualified not great. And then, in my opinion, just an overreaction and a desperation move by Denny. A team that you don't normally so calculate. Everything they do is calculated. I don't know, the playoffs just have not seemed like a, the 11 signature. Three playoff drivers going three side by side into the S's.